Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. So I'm not given up on my YouTube channel. I'll get back to making videos uh, soon. It's just that um, I've been busy otherwise, and I also need some motivation from time to time to talk about the right topic. So some time back, I had made a video on how to pursue science as a career in India. And in that, I had talked about the different kinds of research institutes that are there for different topics of science, pure sciences. And I had also uh, included a link to a document from the DST, the Department of Science and Technology, uh, with, the, with this list. So uh, my son is now in the ninth standard. And he has an interest in science. And in particular, he wants to take up astronomy. So that means he will have to pursue physics uh, for his undergraduation and uh, post-graduation. Typically, not always, even engineers can become astronomers. Uh, but typically, that is the route. So this is the age for him to start thinking deeply about his life and his career. And although he says he is interested in astronomy and uh, and physics, I know that he is interested in all aspects of science, whether it's chemistry or biology, and he's also interested in maths. So he could take up those as well, uh, uh, you know, for a career. Things change, interests change. So I would like him to start thinking more deeply about what he wants to do in life. The more clearer a child is about what he or she wants to do, the easier it becomes for the parent. So I would like uh, for him to start thinking about this. Of course, you can't do that. I mean, you can't say, go and think and people will start thinking. It doesn't happen like that. It's not a switch you turn on. So it's a gradual process. And I just want to you know, lay down the seeds. So I've also said this several times before, well, you know, while uh, planning for our child's future, we should do extensive research on the kind of options that are available. Parents have to do it. Of course, the children do it well and good, but we may not expect all children to do it, but we must expect the parents to do it. So um, I have talked about this as well before that uh, we need to talk, we need to do extensive research, particularly if your child wants to do science. What are the kind of options that are available in India, abroad, etc., depending on what you want to do after school and so on. So I wanted to create a slide deck for my son to show him the options that are there um, for pursuing physics as a career. And I thought maybe this would be a, uh, turned into a video that others may find useful as well. So I'm going to focus in this video on options for physics after school after 12th standard this uh although i'm talking only about physics many of these institutes will also be offering similar courses in other aspects of science like chemistry mathematics maybe some even in biology other uh, other aspects and so on uh, earth sciences some of them and so on so you will have to do that research depending on what your child's interest is the 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 more you do your research and the more you keep your options listed the easier it would be because i've talked about this in the previous video that is if you want to start preparing for entrance exam you have to get into the right mindset at a very early age of course if you uh, go on social forums they'll say oh don't put pressure on the children and so on that's just nonsense i mean those people are not going to come and help your child uh, uh, you know you know, counsel your child for a career or pay your pay school uh, college fees or school fees for them. I mean, it's just bullshit. You have to get into the right frame of mind if you are sure that you're going to write entrance exam. I'm not saying everybody should write entrance exams or attempt entrance exams. But if you think that is going to be the path for your child and if your child agrees, if your child doesn't agree, that's a different matter. I'm not saying putting pressure if the child doesn't agree. If the child does agree, then you will have to uh, you know, nudge them in the, in the right direction. That's what I mean by putting pressure. I'm not saying putting pressure means get first rank or, you know, get become a topper. That is bullshit. 
you should nudge them in the same uh, in the right direction and that is something only a parent can do so uh, with that um, overtly long introduction let's get on with this so the roadmap for uh, becoming a physicist of course you today my son says he wants to become an astronomer but once you get into college once you start learning different branches of science or uh, you know of physics i mean his interests can change and we should always accommodate that so one option is to do a four year science or engineering degree that would lead to a phd so if you have four year ex uh, experience in college after school you can straight away do a phd there is no need for a masters you don't need to do a, a, a three year bsc and a two year msc that's what i did that's no longer necessary uh, more and more institutes are coming up with four year science programs four year engineering uh, um, physics programs so four year after school if you finish that you can straight away get into a phd or you can do a five year science program there are there are integrated programs or you can do a bsc plus msc kind of thing uh, like what i did so like i said four years is the minimum requirement to to uh, to get a phd and one of these routes is what we have in mind for uh, our son sorry about the noise outside i hope it's uh, filtered out to some extent now i think if you are sure that your child wants to do science then we should aim to make the child study in a college or an institution where the teachers are phd's themselves and are actively engaged in research that is when you have the right kind of environment for the child to learn science or even engineering for that matter when when the when the faculty are phd's and are actively engaged in research the level of teaching will be uh, different because you because the faculty can create an environment where the um excuse me where the um uh you know the child can ask questions freely and uh, you know and learn and you can see options that are available in education.gov.in so the first route is the iits and you need to clear the je advanced for this and these are all the places offering four year uh btech or bs in physics iit madras offers four year btech engineering physics five year bsms in physics hyderabad offers four year btech engineering guwahati offers four year btech engineering indore offers a very unique four year btech in space science and engineering kanpur four year bs in physics jodhpur four year bs karakpur five year integrated msc uh iid mumbai four year btech engineering physics or a five year bsms patna four year btech engineering delhi delhi roper mandi roorki all offer four year btech engineering uh, bhu in varanasi offers five year mtech in engineering physics jammu offers four year bs darwaz offers four year btech engineering physics so you have so many options these are all uh entry level is at the after 12th standard via je advance then you have the indian institute of science their bachelor's program this is a very unique program and uh they offer the four year bachelor of science via research program in physics chemistry maths biology materials and earth and environmental science i think that's a very very unique program and um as per the current brochure they say that the selection will be based on the merit list of one of the following national exams je mains je advanced neat or the icer aptitude test i'll talk about icer so one of them is what uh, merit list on one of the following is what is listed and i think that is very doable and that's an ex excellent place uh, forget the water problems and so on but uh, iic bangalore is an excellent place to do uh, science in indian institute of science the tata institute as it's called uh, the old old timers would call it as the tata institute 
it's a fantastic place to do science and that is one of the places uh, uh, that's on our aspirational list i don't know how much our son uh, aspires for it but certainly as a parent we aspire for it but we don't know it's things change then we have the indian institute of science education uh, and research the iiscrs and they conduct a icer aptitude test from this year onwards they have said that only the icer aptitude test will be used for admission for their five year bsms dual degree earlier they used to uh, include um, icer uh, sorry ge advanced as well now they have only the icer aptitude test so you have uh, the five year bsms dual degree being offered in kolkata tiruvannandapuram pune tirupati berhampur bhopal and mohali sorry we have done this and uh, then we have the national institute of technology and this is via je mains you don't need the advanced for it just the mains is enough calicut offers a btech in engineering physics roorkela offers an integrated msc agartala offers btech mtech dual degree in engineering physics patna offers an integrated msc surat offers an integrated msc so you have many more options there are other uh, nits as well they may be offering this may not be an exhaustive list and uh, i recently saw a news article i had shared this and asked asan ideas of wealth that uh, more than 100 central universities and other universities maybe even uh, uh, institutes of technology have signed up for four year B, uh, bs programs in science so that is the new fad you can save one year you just need to study four years of college uh, after school and straight away you apply for a uh, a phd then you have the central universities they have their own uh, common uh, university common I, I, what is it? I, it's sort of hidden away i don't want to change it now it's called a i think common university entrance test or something like that central university common entrance test that's what it is q set so integrated master's program is offered in hyderabad pondicherry uh tiruvarur in tamil nadu and in a, uh, in ajmer it's, it's in a place called bandar sindri so there may be other places as well so these are the kind of uh tiers that we have in mind in terms of um quality physics or science education taught by faculty with uh, doing active research and um i don't know what the future is but this is a, this is the kind of options that we have we should have multiple options well, the moment you say i'm going to uh, uh, you know attack entrance exams then you must have multiple options because entrance exam if you don't pass if you don't qualify then you should have you should have another option you should uh, attend the second entrance or the third entrance and so on so this is the kind of options that we have and uh, i would like to discuss this uh, with my son at some point when he has the right mood and the temperament to listen to me but i think you can do your own research and uh, you know uh, discuss such things with your child you can um, create your own slide decks if you are interested in the slide deck you can send an email to freefincal at gmail i can send you the slide deck take care bye bye